From the useful to the uniquely awesome, here are 30 brand new S25 Ultra features, including some that everybody missed. Let's start off with an incredibly useful new feature by holding the side key and volume down keys at the same time. And we'll get this little menu here and we're gonna tap side button settings, then the double press option. And you'll see that we now get a ton more customizable options for what we want the side key to do when we double press it. And if I tap this settings here next to the camera, I can now choose which specific camera mode I want the camera to open up into. So if you want quick access to video recording to catch your friends doing ridiculous things like this, then you can just set that to record video mode. And now when I double press the side key, it jumps straight into video mode. But besides the camera shortcuts, all of these other applications have their own dedicated shortcuts as well. So if I tap the modes and routine settings, I can immediately enable or disable any of my modes or routines. So if I want to quickly focus on something and eliminate all distractions, I can just select work mode. And when I double press the side key, it's going to enable work mode and disable all of my notifications as well as any distracting applications. Then when I'm done focusing, all I have to do is double press the side key again and work mode is disabled. None of this was possible with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. If we jump into the gallery, then tap the search icon, you get this new search option at the bottom that lets you get really specific with what you want to search for. For example, I could say, show me pictures in a big room with blue lights on the ceiling. And there you go. That seems to be pretty accurate. Or I could say, show me pictures of snowmen. There you go. And you can even search based on locations or events like birthdays or weddings. You probably heard about the new notification shade and new quick panel, but you probably didn't know that you can simply swipe back and forth between them. Or that you could long press the brightness to get extra options, or long press the media volume to get its own options. Or that there's a brand new finder shortcut to immediately open up the finder and search your phone for anything you need. If you open up the Samsung internet browser, then tap the Galaxy AI button at the bottom in the center, you'll see a new option called read highlights out loud. If you tap this, It'll summarize the page and start reading it out loud. You can then pause it and just scroll through the summary if you prefer. And this even works to summarize reviews on product pages. If you pull down your quick panel, you'll get a brand new option called nearby devices. And if you tap this, you'll be able to see all the devices that are currently connected to your phone. And if you tap one of those devices, you'll get some shortcuts for different actions as well as shortcuts to different related applications. So I can just tap the Galaxy wearable app and it'll take me directly into the Galaxy Watch settings. Below this, you'll also see nearby devices, and if you want to connect one of those devices to your phone, all you do is long press the device and drag it over onto your phone. And now you see those earbuds are connected, then I can tap those. I can quickly change a bunch of the earbud settings, and even see the battery percentage left in both the case and the earbuds. And if I tap learn more at the bottom, You'll see if this works with Galaxy phones and tablets on One UI 7 or higher. So when my Tab S10 Ultra gets the One UI 7 update, I'll also see that as an option in this list. And it also works with Galaxy Books as well as Samsung's TVs, smart monitors, and projectors. So this is a really cool brand new feature to quickly see all your connected devices at a glance and be able to interact with them. The ultra-wide camera on the S25 Ultra has been upgraded from a 12 megapixel sensor to a 50 megapixel sensor. This new sensor not only allows you to capture much more detail for your ultra-wide photos, but I've also noticed a significant improvement in dynamic range, being able to capture more detail in both the dark and light areas of a photo. This can also be seen when we zoom in on this berry in the macro photo as well. There's just more detail captured in the bright area on the S25 Ultra. Then if I move over to a dark area, you can see more detail there as well. And since that ultra-wide camera is 50 megapixels, we can now record in 8K with that ultra-wide sensor. Previously, we were limited to one times and five times zoom if we wanted to do 8K video recording. Slow motion recording also gets the ultra wide lens treatment. And in fact, you can also record with the three times and five times zoom lenses now as well. Previously, you were limited to one times zoom if you wanted to do slow motion recording. The app screen also gets some great improvements. For example, you can now long press on a folder, then tap enlarge and get a larger version of that folder. And since the folder is larger, you can now tap directly on one of the icons to immediately open that application. And if you have more than eight applications in the folder, you can just tap these three dots to open the folder. And if you ever want to shrink it back down, just long press it and tap shrink. If we pinch in on the home screen and tap widgets, you'll see that you now get a ton of new widgets. Specifically, there's a lot of new Samsung Health widgets with the energy score, sleep widgets, and updated steps widgets. And if you long press a widget to resize it, 
it will automatically change the content shown to match the widget size. Previously, the widgets had very minimal customization when it comes to resizing them. If we pinch it on the home screen and go to the home screen settings, we can now decrease or increase the size of the applications, as well as choose whether or not to include app labels or widget labels as well. So if I set the apps to the smallest size but turn all the labels on and go back to my home screen, you'll see that the widgets now have labels and the apps take up a bit less space. And if I go to the maximum app size and turn off all the labels, you'll see the apps got a lot bigger but the labels are now gone. The S25 Ultra also gets a brand new app icons, which I personally think look great, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I briefly mentioned the modes and routines feature earlier in this video, and there's actually a new feature specific to modes and routines that is ridiculously powerful. So if we pull down our quick panel and long press the modes option, that's going to take us into our modes and routines settings. Then we jump over to the routines tab and tap the plus icon to create a new routine. Then just set anything for the if condition, so we'll just go ahead and use it start manually for now. Then jump into the then options, and scroll all the way to the bottom, and tap advanced options. You'll see this new option here called if else, and if we select this, then tap select action to get data. You'll see that the phone can now pull data from a bunch of different things, including upcoming weather. So if I choose get snowfall probability, I can check for the probability at a specific time or just during the day. Then check if the probability is going to be equal to, greater than, less than, or is between a specific range, and set the specific percentage I want to check for. So now, my phone's going to check if the probability for getting snowfall today is greater than 10%, and if that's true, then it'll complete an action. And this can be anything from sending me a custom notification, telling me to maybe bring my snow gloves and a snow scraper when I leave for work, or do super complex things like increase the heat in the home if I have a smart thermostat. And if I choose to show a custom notification and tap the custom notification text area, I can actually include the exact percentage in the notification. And when that notification is read out loud, it could say something like, Hey Eric, I detected that there's going to be a more than 10% chance of snow today. You should probably bring some gloves and your snow scraper. So this is a wildly powerful feature that I'm still only scratching the surface of. Because if I back out of here, there's even an else statement, which means my phone can do something entirely different if it detects that there's less than a 10% chance of snow. So if you haven't checked out modes and routines, I highly recommend checking out my dedicated video on this feature by clicking the card above or the link in the description after this video. I'm sure you've already heard of Samsung's AI audio editor, but most of the time people just tell you about the feature and they haven't actually showed you how well it works. So I'm going to play the actual audio clip in real time as I actively change these different settings so you can hear exactly how good it works. So right now I'm recording with a plane going by up ahead and it is really loud in person. You can probably hear it on the video really easily, but now I'm going to go ahead and try to remove that sound using Samsung's new AI audio editor that can pick up specific sounds and either increase or decrease the level of those sounds. It should work for the planes as well as a bunch of other types of noise. Can pick up specific sounds and either increase or decrease the level of those sounds. It should work for the planes as well as a bunch of other types of noises as well. So let's give this a shot and see how it works. The AI editor gets a massive improvement on the Galaxy S25 Ultra, and to demonstrate that, I've got the S24 Ultra here on my left. If I tap this card to remove it on both devices, you'll see that the S25 Ultra immediately gets a move and erase icon that you can just tap to do that function. Previously, you'd have to long press it again, and then you'd get the erase option. So if I try to erase both of these, it's going to look like they're about to do the same thing, but when I tap generate, the S25 Ultra understands that I actually want to delete it and not replace it with another car, and it also noticed that there was a shadow beneath the car and removed the shadow. The S24 Ultra thought I just wanted to replace the car and actually put a new car in facing the opposite direction, and the car doesn't even look that great. It looks like it didn't even do anything with the shadow, but you can see the mirror here from the original shadow. And if I switch back and forth from the original on the S25 Ultra, you can see that it did an incredible job of filling in that background. And a quick reminder, that $50 bonus credit with my exclusive links is still available in the description and pinned comment for a few more days, so if you want to snag that deal, there's still time to do it. But just remember that deal is for US only, and it expires after 30 minutes. 
So if you notice that the credit disappears after 30 minutes, you'll just have to click the link again to get it to reappear. And full disclosure, since those are affiliate links, I do get a small commission at no extra cost to you if you purchase through those links. And the commission from affiliate sales is the only way that can afford to go to these events and purchase all of the products that I review on this channel. So a massive thank you to any of you who use my links. Samsung has replaced sketch to image with drawing assist, which is far more powerful. Not only do we still have the drawing option, which can convert horrendous drawings into much better illustrations, but we also now get a text input to modify our drawings. <laughs> and you definitely get some pretty funny results. Let's say you're really terrible at drawing like I am. You can just go to a new tab, then just enter a text prompt. And those text prompts can be extraordinarily specific. Like that's wildly impressive based on that prompt. You can then tap the prompt and modify it if you want. And you also get six different styles to pick from. And as if that's not enough, you can even pick an image from your gallery to use as a template. So if I pick this snowman, then add some text, it'll modify the image based on the text that I added. Samsung's Smart Select feature also gets a huge update and is now renamed to AI Select. Now when you tap it, it'll automatically analyze what's on the page. And when you tap something on the page, it'll give you specific recommendations based on what's in that image. So if it detects a person, it'll give you a drawing assist option. And if you tap that, it'll take you into the drawing assist menu that I showed you a moment ago. From there, you can add a text prompt and tap generate, and you'll get a modified image based on that prompt. If you select text, AI assist will suggest writing assist. And if you tap this, you can quickly check your spelling and grammar or change the writing style. And this will suggest a few different ways to write that text based on different styles. You can also summarize the selected text if it's a lot of text create a bullet point list out of it, or even a table out of all the information you selected. And if you tap Composer, you can write a brief description of the message you want to send, then just tap Generate, and it'll automatically create a full length message. If you tap this bar at the top, you can change it to a detailed message, and it'll create an even longer message. If AI select detects an image that can be used as a wallpaper, it'll actually give that option right here. So if I tap Set as Wallpaper, I'll be able to immediately set that image as my wallpaper. If it detects a video, You'll get a create GIF option, and then it'll automatically start playing the video again, and you can tap record and snap that GIF. And if you select text that's otherwise unselectable, it'll suddenly become selectable and you can copy different sections of that text. When you're on a phone call, you now get a call recording button, and if you tap that, it'll start recording the call within about 3 seconds, and it'll tell the person on the other side that the call is going to be recorded. And it's also going to actively transcribe that call while it's being recorded. So when you finish the call, You'll get a notification that the call was recorded. And if you jump into the phone app and go into the recent call section, any call that's been recorded, you'll see this little microphone icon next to it. So if you tap that, you'll see an option here called view recording and transcript. If you tap this, you'll be able to see a transcript of that call. And if it was a really long call, you could tap this summarize option and it'll summarize the call for you. The glass on the S25 Ultra gets upgraded to Gorilla Armor 2 for even more scratch and shatter resistance, which is crazy because the regular Gorilla Armor on my S23 Ultra doesn't even have a single scratch after a full year of use. So getting even more scratch resistance is just incredible. The Now Brief, which gives you various bits of information depending on the time of day and what's happening that day, is fully customizable. So if you scroll down to the bottom and tap this Settings gear, then tap Content to Include, you can enable or disable a bunch of different features. Gemini is now integrated directly into Samsung's apps, so you can say things like, give me a list of 10 really cool things to do in New York City and add it to my Samsung Notes. Okay, list created. Now if I jump into Samsung Notes, I'll see the note right there. The S25 Ultra can now record in log format. This will give you a really flat looking video to give you full control over the color grading and contrast. But I guess a black and white video is not the best example for this. So this scene is a better example of the before and after of log graded footage. And for reference, here's what a video would look like if you didn't use log recording. Notice that there's just less details in the dark areas of the video. If you have a motion photo enabled and you took a picture and either you or someone else that's in the picture accidentally had their eyes closed during the photo, you can actually swipe up on the photo. Then you get this new option here called choose best face. This will go through all the other frames in the motion photo and give you some better options where your eyes are open. And this works for every face that's in the photo. So you can change the facial expression of just one person and everyone else's faces will stay the same. 
If you want to see what I call bacteria mode, the brand new Astro Portraits feature, or a ton of other brand new camera specific features, you can check out this video here. And consider subscribing and turning on notifications if you don't want to miss more deep dive S25 Ultra coverage. That's it for this episode. Jesus loves you and I'll catch you in the next one.